finger legato for the introduction for elegy without pedal the practice. So the top line is the melody, that needs to be legato, that's why there is this choice of fingering. Shape those phrases. Longer phrase. Transition to four, top note of the phrase, the loudest, five under, legato, retain the pressure through the keys, end of the phrase, so that can be softer there. <clears throat> then, because you have the two notes at once, nothing is written on the score to say to play them at different volumes, but we know that we need to sing out the melody. If I didn't sing out the melody, you'd hear something quite pedestrian like this. No pedal, of course. So that's not making music out of that. We want to find out where the melody is. That's the top line. So the top sings out more strongly than the bottom. To do that, I think of that in two ways. One is find the melody note, okay. So then the weight is distributed in towards that note. So the first is the note F. So I take the weight, I distribute it in towards that note. So all the energy is going in towards that note. If I can, I would tilt the hand towards the direction of the note that is the melody note. Uh, my analogy is if you have a hot water bottle, even though it um, is narrow, uh, once you've got a little bit of water in there, even the smallest tilt of that would distribute the water quite readily and rapidly into that area. The weight you would really feel flowing into whatever side you have tilted that. So that is representative of the back of the hand and the energy flowing towards the melodic note. Then physically what we're trying to do is, I think of the note that is accompanying as a lighter action, of course, pressing with the feeling of an uplifted motion. None of that weight is having, heading down into the key. The weight is actually just coming away from the key. Whereas for the melody note, all the weight is going there so my action to play that key is a little bit more of a striking action. So I'm delivering a downward striking action for the note that requires the singing quality, but an upwards lifted action for the accompanying note. So we've got two things happening with the hand. One is forcefully the action into the key one is gently the action and the weight away from the key. You can hear how much difference we create. This is quite tr tricky actually, <laughs> so it does take time to, um, to be able to articulate and produce this sound in our chords, um, voice leading and voicing our chords. So to start with, you'll find that one note tends to happen after one another, or they're going to both be loud. Okay, so if you want to break that down, you could press one note first with your action of lightness, and then experiment with how that feels to strike, 
and retain the pressure into the key always. The pressure is still into that key. You would feel that pressure. So you'll start out and they will sound at different times. But that's okay, don't worry. Just keep working on it, press and hold. Refine the sound, think what happened. Okay, that one went down too quickly. So don't change your chord with um, too quickly after you've played it. Stop and listen to that sound. Thumb was too loud on that one. Thumb was too soft on that one. All right, so you're just gonna keep working through listening and evaluating that sound that you've created.